Welcome. Now, in this module, we'll look at a case study for security hardening for Apple iOS 10, any device using Apple iOS 10, and this is CIS Benchmark case study. Um, here is the front page, and uh, CIS Apple iOS 10 Benchmark from May 15, 2017. It's a 138 pages PDF document. For control 3.2.1.12, and this is a layer two, uh, level two control, which is a high severity control, ensure allow modifying cellular data app settings is set to disabled. So profile applicability level two, institutionally owned devices. Institutionally owned devices means owned by the organization. It's not a personal device. It's, it's an organization device given to the user, given to the employee. So the description is, this recommendation pertains to modifying the use of cellular data by apps. It is appropriate for an institution or organization to have remote locating and erasure capability with their devices. Forcing cellular data to remain active is a means of supporting this goal. Um, and in audit from the configuration profile, open Apple configurator, open configuration profile. In the left window pane, click on restrictions. In the right window pane, verify that under the tab functionality, checkbox for allow modifying cellular data app settings is unchecked. And then in audit um, from the device, it tells you if you want to do this from the device, it tells you six steps how to do this. And in remediation, open the Apple configurator, open configuration profile, left window pane, click on restrictions. In the right window pane under tab functionality, uncheck the checkbox for allow modifying cellular data app settings and deploy the configuration profile. So CIS controls, it gives a cross reference here. CIS controls 5.1. Minimize and sparingly use administrative privileges. Minimize administrative privileges and only use administrative accounts when they are required. And uh, implement focused auditing on the use of administrative privileged functions and monitor, monitor for anomalous behavior. So this uh, control was a, a level two control. And on these mobile devices, now that you know they're they're being used so widely. Um, the mobile devices come with uh, default settings. Many of those default settings, like other devices that we use in infrastructure, they're not secure settings. And, and uh, it's very important for organizational level um, devices to implement these mobile device controls for iOS and Android. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.